good advice even for maybe parents that are not necessarily in school and staring at a screen all day. Now, maybe a good day today to get out a good book and read it here. Maybe something not on the screen here. Cloudy skies through the morning hours. Despite the cloud cover, especially early on, I think will remain dry. Those rain chances, though, will begin to ramp up towards the late morning especially by the early afternoon. You see those precipitation chances there about 100% at one o'clock. Not too often do we have that kind of uh, nailed it sort of forecast. Temperatures in the low 40s through the afternoon mean all rain is ahead. Now clouds have been streaming in overnight tonight. In fact, expecting those clouds to really thicken up here as we go into the afternoon. And then eventually this right here, the green shading there indicative of that rain, primarily on the lighter side. There's a few pockets of heavier rain south and west of Quincy. All of that is pushing off towards the north and towards the east. There's more of that to come, though, and it's all thanks to this kind of complex area developing here from uh, parts of Kansas through Missouri and Iowa. All of this is pushing off towards the north and east and will eventually have impacts for our area. Now, there was some pretty hefty snow over northern portions of New Mexico. All of this tied into the system that could bring some accumulating snow to the Midwest here. In fact, Ken Hillhun in northern New Mexico picked up seven inches there at Bay Bateman Snowtail. I see what they did there. Now, there is a potential, of course, for some snow in our area, especially out to the north and west. For that reason, winter weather advisory goes into effect at 6 o'clock tonight, lasting until 6 o'clock tomorrow evening for Stevenson County. Now, of course, outside of Stevenson, we still could see some snow, and the deliberation of whether or not we'll be seeing a winter weather advisory still just hasn't come to fruition just yet. But slippery roads in these areas of Stevenson County are possible, as we especially see in the rural areas. Reduced visibility could also come about with the gusty winds that develop, especially later in the day on Saturday. Gusts could be as high as 30 miles per hour, could blow some of that snow around as it especially is falling. Accumulating snow up to five inches. That's on the higher end, I think, of what will fall in Stevenson County. Uh, uh, in terms of the impact here. So let's kind of take you through future track, really help you plan out this forecast here by 10 o'clock this morning, especially west of Rockford, rain chances begin to develop. It will be a rain for all of us here through the afternoon hours as those temperatures again climbing to the low 40s. It's tonight that we'll be watching for that rain snow mix. Where exactly will that take place? Of course, right now uh, it's kind of too early to say, but it does look like it will be a razor thin edge there across far northwest Illinois, gradually transitioning to all snow here as we go into your Saturday morning into the Saturday afternoon time period before all of this moves on out by five o'clock Saturday evening. In terms of accumulations, again, very, very minimal accumulations are expected. 43 for today. A chilly rain, breezy and cooler as well. Tonight we'll see that rain snow mix. Rain mainly south of Highway 20 as we get into Ogle and Lee County. And tomorrow, 37 degrees, likely early rain to snow with slushy accumulations expected. Again, in general, one to three inches. Those of you that live in Rockford, you know, don't get too, too terribly excited on that three inch mark here. I think most of us in the Rockford area will only see about an inch, maybe two. Three to five north of Freeport. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast. Again, we've got quiet conditions once we get beyond Saturday. And in that 10 day forecast, we see that continued fairly quiet conditions. Temperatures in the low 40s, in fact, by the next weekend.